good morning and welcome back to coffee with Dawood sometime backing up on this place is a little bit difficult but I can make it happen anyway let's talk about how ugly is Tesla Cybertruck I totally get it I know it's ugly it's not like other cars all the above but after reading this one comment on my Facebook page read it carefully read it carefully it clicked in my brain that hmm that's a very clever comment which is talking about you know how ugly was Lamborghini design in 1940s uh, all those things you know the technology is moving so fast we are evolving everything is changing and we gotta understand not it's gonna be the same thing anymore it's like you know what 10 15 years ago if you would have talked about yeah um, cyber I mean if you would have even talked about the anything remotely uh, more about technology they would call you dummy uh, I mean if you guys remember I mean if you are old enough remember the dot-com boom you know when the dot-com came around I remember when my uh, I had my first website and this uh, friend of mine Craig Padgett he came and he built it I was just saying wow what is this what is this you know or when the AOL came which is gone now but the question is AOL came around and is gone but there are better things around so might be cyber truck goes away and some other new design better design shows up um, might this design just change a little bit all of those things yeah everybody compares it to a trash can you know I had somebody who was just making lots of fun and I don't want to insult anyone I, he doesn't even have a uh, decent car himself uh, I asked him you know what are you driving what are you driving so let's just stop making fun of these things not that you are insulting me I seriously don't care more or less but my love for Tesla is growing up every day every day I don't really drive it that much I drive it like one every every other day like every two days type of things because um, I drive that Toyota more um, I'm trying to see if there's going to be some issue with it which we started having an issue there's a bunch of recalls on it and you guys saw my last video on it but question is or the comment people that they are making that Tesla Cybertruck is the ugliest car they ever seen yeah I know this is not gonna be your beautiful Ferrari or McLaren or Lamborghini or even your Ford I mean Ford is ugly some of the some some of those Fords are just box there's no shape to it and so, so as this Tesla Cybertruck but it's called Cybertruck it means it's the future we're seeing the future trust me this is how it's gonna be I don't know if I'm gonna be around by that time I hope and I will say oh yeah I had one of the first cyber chucks you know I had one of my one of the first cyber trucks so but in general I really started liking Tesla because one of the most important thing about Tesla is that damn supercharger which I'm not agree with the way they 
they charge you because every station is a different uh, charge so if you go to Vista I'm paying 25 cents if I go to uh, cars but I'm gonna pay 61 cents it's more than tw uh, double but it's so perfectly designed flawless I have that EQS anytime I go charging I'm praying a charger is gonna work because Electrify America it just can't get it right I mean Electrify America it can't get it right number one thing they are subs they are getting subsidized by US government that they are paying for EV they spent 7.5 billion dollar to this EV charging uh, places not Tesla to build EV charging but they haven't built more than two of them 7.5 billion for two charging stations but look at how many supercharger Tesla has I mean if you look at your my map uh, gosh there's like at least 30 of them in San Diego if I'm not exaggerating but other than that the other technology in this car is superior the drive is pretty darn good I gotta tell you that the drive is pretty darn good I don't know how the drive is in a long range because I haven't gone to a long range I, the longest I've gone is like to Torrance which is like about 60 miles but yeah shape is bad but I wrapped it so it looks better it looks way better it looks way better and the wrap is done by the big red media and before I forget this video is sponsored by the big red media check it out check the website uh, they offer great uh, trade show and event uh, printing um, it's a it's a perfect place to get your vehicle wrap your cyber truck wrap or other truck wrap they've done wraps in range of trolleys buses uh, all those uh, big stuff we they wrap the walls you, you just name it they wrap a boat uh, I mean you just name it they'll wrap it for you okay so they're a good place to go check their website and uh, but going back let's talk about cyber truck again am I gonna keep it I really don't know be honest with you guys I'm a very spontaneous type of uh, creature so you never know what is my next move gonna be today I don't even know I can never plan anything because I'm just this spontaneous I try to plan some stuff but never work so they just left it alone I just leave it as spontaneous so I might keep it I might sell it I don't know uh, let's see what happens in the next couple of weeks three four weeks and uh, we'll go from there uh, but I'm starting to like it more every day you know if I want to save money this is a uh, I don't know about that right way of saving money because you are paying extra up front you know so let's say a Toyota cost me 70 grand including taxes uh, this one cost me 110 grand including taxes so I paid forty thousand dollar more but for the time that I'm gonna keep it how long how, how much am I gonna save it and how much I'm gonna lose when I'm selling it so overall I don't think there's any saving in EV but if you want to be the futuristic uh, try to act like you are a um, global warming guy that you know cares about the planet maybe EV is the right way to do it um, I doubt it anybody with the EV cars will save money in, because you end up paying in the beginning all the all the hoops and poops on this thing gets paid up front uh, that's it 
uh, will continue making video in Cybertruck and see what will the future bring us anyway I wish you guys enjoyed it and go check www.bigredmedia.com you won't miss them uh, they are a great place to go for your trade show events and other corporate printing thanks a lot and have a wonderful day bye bye